Hello students, welcome back. In this session, we are going to discuss the orthographic relations of planes. Uh, now, in orthographic relations of planes, now I am discussing uh, the plane inclined to both planes. That we are getting theta and phi. That may be less than 90 degrees or theta plus phi equals to 90 degrees. This both will be coming under orthographic relations of plane inclined to both planes that is both HP as well as VP horizontal plane and vertical plane I am taking an example question from uh, exercise 10b problem number 12 has asked by the students uh, the top view of a square plane of diagonal 80 mm appears as a rhombus of 80 mm and 50 mm means major diagonal is 80 minor diagonal of the rhombus is 50 one of the corner of the plane is in HP and draw its projections when one of the diagonal is parallel to both the principal planes means parallel to HP and VP so for this question we can adopt any of the methods so we have wide varieties of method that we can go for uh, solving this problem uh, first method is uh, change of position method Second one, profile plane method. Third one, auxiliary method. That is auxiliary plane method. So now we are going to discuss this problem for uh, change of position method and profile plane method. Uh, before going to change uh, profile plane method, I will discuss the change of position method. Uh, that is common for all varieties of problems but we can solve any very few problems from profile plane method so let me start the problem uh, so already have read the question uh, let me write down the given data from the question uh, that is uh, exercise 10b problem number 10.12 the given data for this one is uh, square plane diagonal ATM looks like rhombus of 80 into 50 diagonals and uh, one corner in HP and one of the diagonal is parallel to both HP and VP diagonal is parallel to both HP and VP so for this question we have to draw the solution so let me see the textbook site I'm drawing a long reference line because we have to go for several stages of the problem from here to there let me extend this one also because we'll be getting three stages for this problem in change of position method in profile plane method and auxiliary methods we can eliminate some of the stages and we can get the final solution as the final solution is given as a rhombus but just we have to go the initial methods for that so first here I am drawing a uh, rhombus sorry first in the first stage one have to draw the square plane of diameter uh, diagonal 80 so I will be drawing the 80 over here this is 80 80 
so this dimension this dimension this diagonal would be 80 because one of the corner is in uh, HP so I'll take the front view on the reference line and this is my front view A dash B dash D dash and C dash next the top view of this square looks like a rhombus of diagonal 80 and 50 so let me draw that here I'm taking 50 here and 80 on this okay uh, let me finish this right this is a c b d okay now i'll project the projectors from the top oh, sorry front then i'll move to the front okay now one of the corner is resting on the ground so let me take this a is resting on the ground so from here when I tilt the figure like this in this manner, uh, just a minute, I'll show the square. Okay, right. Uh, this is a square, and this is rhombus. Uh, these two are different, but uh, I can say this square. I'll be tilting the square like this, like this. In this condition, this is VP. This is HP. In this condition, when you are looking from top, you can see this diagonal full, but this diagonal you can't see total length of this diagonal. So AC, I'm let me assume this is A, right? This is like this. So, when you are looking in this direction, you can see a line of full diagonal. So, let me take the compass and draw this over here. Oh, let me erase this. Okay, from here to here, I'll be getting the front view. This I have tilted like this because already this view is given. It is a finally rhombus, right? Okay, so this is A dash, this is B dash, D dash, and this is C dash. So next. In the question, it is given that one uh, one of the diagonal is parallel to both HP and VP. So I'll be taking this diagonal BD parallel to both HP and VP. So I can turn this like this and keep it over here. I can reproduce the same figure over here, right? So from here, I'll take 80, 40, this one. So this is D, this is B. And 
This is AC. So from the question, one of the corner is in HP. So I'll be taking A. A is in HP. So the front view of A falls directly onto the reference line. So here is the view. Now I'll be making, uh, reproducing the same figure over here. Right, I have reproduced the same figure over here, keeping that A is in HP. Right, so now I'll predict it. Okay, I have projected all the corners. Right, so I'm taking D and B diagonal parallel to B, both HP and VP. So, You can see here B and D parallel to VP, D and B parallel to HP, right? So this is D dash, this is B dash. You can see this change A dash from here I have tilted this one to here. In the question we are not asked with the theta angle because we didn't get this uh, inclined angle by any theta we got this by reduction of the diagonal which is given in the question right so now i'll project a this would become a dash and uh, if i project c this would become c dash let me finish the figure Right, this is the final answer. So, let me uh, read out the question also, the conditions given in the question. Square plane of diagonal 80, see here, square plane of diagonal 80, right, I have mentioned here. Looks like rhombus of 80, in 80 and 50 of diagonal, see here, this is 50. This is 50 diagonal and this is 80 diagonal from D and B, right? So I have satisfied this also. One of the corner is in HP, so I am making this corner A on the HP. So A dash falls on reference line. From A dash only, I have tilted the line, taking the projectors from top view. Next, one of the diagonal is parallel to both HP and VP. Now I am tilting this figure, making BD parallel to VP. And coming to front view, I am taking this B dash, uh, D dash and B dash that is parallel to HP. D B parallel to VP, D dash B dash parallel to HP, right? And one of the corner is in HP, so you got A dash on the HP, the front view falls on reference line. So this is the final solution for this question. Uh, let me discuss the second method how to solve this because uh, in this change of position method, This is change of position method. You got uh, this much time to solve this problem. So in profile plane method, we will be getting the solution of this question very easily. But we can't adapt for all type of questions. For some type of questions like this, we can use the profile plane. So we can get the solution very easily. So in profile section, we will be getting this 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 only so i can take this figure we have drawn first this we have drawn second this we have drawn third this we have drawn fourth this we have drawn fifth this we have drawn sixth so one two three four five six six figures we have drawn here in profile plane method uh, no need of all the six figures but we require only a few of the drawings from this part to there. So let's start that problem over here. I'm considering the same data for that. 